it's day three of the Little Sparrows, and I gotta feed these babies. Hey, focus your goddamn camera. It won't focus, whatever, right, you know, we got the, the cats. We got the two cats. But the second I came in, and I went, hey, kitties! I heard the babies going. Hey, you! Oh, I gotta find the light in here now. We moved them into the into here today um, because it's warmer in here. You know, this is the, we got the boiler and stuff. And this is the new update for day three of the birds. My dad made this because he's moving them in here. Looks like they have some more poopies and stuff. Um, I may have to feed them today, so you know, we're not gonna have a, a big video. We might just have like a day three and a day four. I'm gonna take a picture of them and cover them up in a sec. We change out the cotton wad. How are you babies doing, huh? Oh no, one's not doing well. Oh, that's not good. That's upsetting. Well, it seems like one wasn't eating yesterday. And now it looks like it was for sure. That's upsetting. <sighs> well, this is why animals have a lot of babies at once. That's a bummer. Yeah. You gotta eat more. We're gonna try with you, butthead. My dad went to feed the birds. He did get that one bird to eat some more food, but that was a couple hours ago, and now it's like 7.40 or something, and he went to go feed them again, and that bird's dead. So we lost one. And right from the get-go, when we had these birds two days ago, we noticed, he noticed especially that, two were kind of runty and the other three even though they were all eating the first the first day the like, three really dominated it and like we noticed that i noticed it too yesterday like you kind of see it in the video one a couple get kind of smushed uh like the other three kind of trample over it so we'll uh we'll see what happens but my my dad's saying one already looks like uh, the other one is starting to look kind of runty too so we'll keep an eye on it but that's a bummer we're we're down a bird. My dad's bummed. <laughs> We're trying our best with these little guys. There was no way to get them back to their parent. So. That's the end of uh, day three for us and our sparrows. Well, it's 6.41 the next morning. My dad got me up and he... Well, I got up with him. He's like, you know, I have a bad feeling they're all going to be dead. Or another one's going to be dead this morning. So we went down, none of them were making any noises, and when we got into the garage, you know, we pulled the thing off, and they were all on their backs, they had their mouths open a tiny bit, and they were really, really pale compared to yesterday, and that's it. All the sparrows died last night. There's so many things that could have gone wrong, and we don't understand what we did wrong. It could have been hot, too hot, it could have been too cold. Cotton could have smothered them, but I don't think it was that one. You know, our food could have made them sick. They could have had... Uh, they could have all been sick with something. I know a couple of years ago, I, uh, my first girlfriend and I, um, her cat brought in a flying squirrel, and he got an eye infection because he wasn't in his normal environment, which was pretty much sitting in his family's filth, his family's poop. That's how they grow antibiotics, so I don't know. <laughs> If the mommy bird uh, would have cleaned the birdies differently, or what would have happened, but that's it. All of our little sparrows are dead, and we don't know what happened. We're bummed.